Welcome to this video which is a short demonstration of the main search functionality of the Scopus database. Scopus is a multidisciplinary database and so is suitable for all subject areas. You can access Scopus through your library guide. Click on the Journals, Articles and Databases tab and scroll down to choose Scopus. You may be required to log in. Simply use your usual Swansea University logins. To search Scopus, type your keywords into the search field. Scopus makes use of the truncation or star function, so it will search for different word endings for you. I did it at the end of kitten to find kittens or kitten. Type all of the terms which mean the same thing onto one line. To add another concept to your search, click on the plus sign to add another search line. Type your next set of search terms in here. Note I'm using the inverted commas around phrases to make sure that Scopus searches for pet food and dry food as a phrase rather than the words pet and food and dry and food separately. Click on search. Scopus has found 479 documents which are about cats and pet food. On the left I have a panel which allows me to refine my results. I can limit my search by year, subject area, document type and language amongst other things to make them more relevant to my search requirement. Let's do that now. I'm interested in results written in English that are articles that come under the subject of veterinary and have been published in the last few years. I choose all of these and ask Scopus to limit my search. This has brought my research results down to 56, which is much more manageable. I'm able to reorder my results by date, most highly cited or most relevant if I wish. If I want to look at more details about a result, I can click on it. This gives me the full details of the article, including the authors, where I can find it, the abstract and references at the bottom. One good feature of Scopus is it lists any articles which have gone on to cite this article subsequently. This means that an author read this paper and then included it in the references for their paper. Looking at these can often allow us to see how research has moved forward over time. This particular article has been used in 13 other papers. If I want to see the full text of the article, I can click on the I get it at Swansea link. This goes off to the University Online Library to see if we have a copy or subscription to this particular journal or article. In this case, I can go to the publisher website and download the PDF of the article. Back on the Scopus page, I can also print, print the article details or email it to myself. I'm also able to export it to reference management software such as EndNote or Mendeley. If I want to start a new search, I simply click on search and start again. That brings our brief demonstration to an end. I hope you have seen that Scopus is a very useful database which covers all of the subject areas and has a nice easy to use interface with plenty of search functionality.